let's squeeze or stretch things to see how they deform. Here is a misstatement. The density of water increases with depth. A correct statement would say the pressure of water increases with depth. In a different video, we've treated water as a liquid, which meant it's an incompressible fluid. That means its density should be constant. In contrast, gases are treated as compressible and their density is proportional to the pressure. However, since the pressure density relationship for gases is due to intermolecular interactions, which are present for liquids and solids as well, we would expect those to have a pressure density relationship as well. We had previously explored elastic deformation through Hooke's law. Here, a spring was deformed due to a displacement from equilibrium, which resulted in a responsive restoring force from the spring measured by the proportionality constant, which assumed that the deformation was small enough for this response to be linear. This kind of behavior can be generalized in terms of elastic moduli. In this kind of treatment, An input stress will produce a deformation or strain with the proportionality between the two being the modulus. Note that the stress is measured as force per cross-sectional area and the strain being measured as a ratio of the deformation to the original dimension. This proportionality may only be used for elastic behavior, beyond which the deformation will take on nonlinear elements. Deformation does not necessarily mean a change in length, but it can also mean bending or changing in shape. Deformation can also result in a change in total volume. The proportionality this time is described by bulk modulus, also known as compressibility. 
you may have noticed throughout all these moduli that the stress has the same dimensions as pressure. We can now return to our original question, is water compressible? We will use a lookup table for its compressibility. How dense is water at the bottom of the ocean. We will use an average ocean depth of 3.7 kilometers. We will use the approximate change in pressure of 100 kilopascals for every 10 meters of depth. Plugging this into our compressibility equation, we can find the proportional change in volume and hence density. According to this approximation, the density of ocean water at its bottom is only about 2% greater than at the surface. 